and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Puff Cap Plunder. We're going to have some fun with Teemo and Asajwani. This version is probably the most popular version of Teemo. As you all know, I play a bunch of different Teemo decks because they're a ton of fun. And so we're going to go, we haven't played this version with, uh, with Sejuani in probably over a month. And so let's, let's go ahead and give it a try. Um, the keys to our deck are going to be Starlet Seer and Puff Cap Peddler. These are the two that we want to have, that we want to play early, keep them alive, keep them in play for a while, plant a bunch of Puff Caps in the enemy deck, and also grant the top ally in our deck plus one, plus one a bunch. That's going to be the keys, and we'll be playing some, you know, just a bunch of spells uh, to help them out. Um, besides that, we have Omen Hawk and Avaros and Sentry, two great cards to have early. Chumplump generates those Mushroom Clouds for us. Just one Hearth Guard in here to grant our allies plus one, plus one, and just one Tusk Raider, doubling the power and health of allies in our deck, um, and also drawing a Sejuani. And then, of course, we'll have Sejuani finish it out. Sejuani is going to be crucial with our Puff Caps because our plan is giving our opponent a bunch of Puff Caps. And so each time they draw a card, if they're drawing a Puff Cap, then they'll be fro our uh, Sejuani will be frostbiting their whole team with that. So that should be pretty interesting. Playing a couple Brittle Steels in here. We didn't have these last time. But I think that's really important if we're curving out turn two Starlet Seer, turn three Puff Cap Peddler. It's really nice to have like a one mana Brittle Steel to be able to protect these whenever they block other units so that we're not just um, getting behind uh, super fast. All right, so here we go. So we're, we're combining our Puff Caps with Teemo, with the Plunder, with Sejuani, uh, needing those Plunder abilities. Let's put them together and see how we do. with Puff Cat Plunder. For Demacia. All right, shared spoils is better later on when we have the puff caps and you know we're able to, to trigger plunder. That's that's where it's going to be shining. But we're going to mulligan it from the opener. I of course love Starlet Seer. Love protecting Starlet Seer. You can see the Demacian border from here. We're going to start with this Sentry though. In Avarosa's name. Sturdy blades, custom made. Soldiers, to me. Who that thing's pretty big. I'm not going to block. I'm going to rely on the Chump Wump trading with that sergeant to keep the Avaros and Sentry to block something else. And that works pretty well. That gives me two mana for Thermogenic Beam because we need to kill a Battlesmith for sure before Battlesmith just keeps going crazy. All right, well, we'll take we'll take our two mana spell. This would be a good winter. <laughs> Trading there. For king and country. Yep, that's pretty good. Wait, that thing's a six? Six. Light the signal fires. Huh. Ah, an auspicious season. All right, cool. Garen's out of here. Get some more 
Uh, Starlet Seers, they're are telling us it's going to be a good winter. This is going to be a good winter. 8-8 Puff Cat Peddler. We protect these woods as they protect us. Ah, that thing's an elite. Blessed by snow and stars. And then we'll beam the battlesmith. Hey, what's up, Shade? Thanks for that resub for nine awesome months now. Hope you're having a good weekend. That's right, it is Saturday. Hope you're having a great weekend. And thanks for the resub. Okay, and round, no real reason to attack into the old scooter over here that has... Um, that had the barrier, at least. Cool, Averroes and Sentry this turn. Maybe Elixir of Irons if we need it, but then just bank the spell mana for progress day for next turn. For justice, for Demacia. No, for Demacia. You can see why Starless Seer is an important part of our deck already. Okay, attacks. Our Omen Hawk will also buff up the next thing as well. Two units out of here. My sword is yours to command. No doubt. Only victory. Garen's the only champion. Of course, Gotcha can't kill Garen. On its own, we could Gotcha plus Mystic Shot. I'd prefer that to be a little more. more possible. I guess the say the the a lot the play that's a whole lot safer is just playing Elixir of Iron, right? Because if they have something that protects the Garen, then my peddler is gonna die. I could just Elixir of Iron my peddler and brittle steel the Redeemer. I'm going to go with this play. If this works for us... Darn. I say if this works for us, that there's a really good chance that we just win the game right there. But it did not work for me. That Ranger's Resolve just turned into a one mana Garen. Oh gosh. This did not work. Stay resolute. Do I only have one progress day in here, or do we put a second one? Boy. Just have the one.
probably have a second progress day. Could have blocked with the sentry and drawn a card. This is a big bird. <laughs> it's gonna be tough getting through this thing. And how broken would it be if this was Omen Hawk normally? Just one mana, 10 10, when I'm summoned, grant the top two allies in your deck plus one plus one? Like, what if this was just normal Omen Hawk? Okay, one mana, 10 10. Oh no, the d detain. We will not hesitate. Blessed by snow and stars. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do some blocking. Starless here is not quite big enough to deal with this Garen. Not quite. Let's not ruffle our feathers. This would be a good. I'm gonna save this thing instead of saving this Avrosen Sentry. I'm just gonna let this Avrosen Sentry die and draw a card. Timo. Prepared for anything. Double up these puff caps. You'll never know what hit them. Enough for everyone. Maybe they draw nine puff caps. Or seven, and I draw a mystic shot. Seven? Just the two. GG's. Garen is amazing. My but I... Yeah, that, that was probably just me not going with the safe play of just using Elixir of Iron to save my Puffcap Peddler. That was probably the difference in that game of me trying to kill that Garen. If I don't, if I don't do that... Our peddler is alive for a lot longer, and we give them more puff caps, and then our Teemo would hit and give them more puff caps. All right, how do we fit a second progress day in here? I think we need it to. Maybe we just play two shared spoils. Yeah, let's just play two shared spoils, two progress days. Let's do that. I do think this deck should be playing two progress days, and that seems like a way we can uh, fit it in. It was with the um, the shared spoils, because we talked about shared spoils early on isn't really doing much. It's only going to be doing something later on, and it's just you know two mana draw one card. That's also kind of difficult to, to turn on. Oh yeah, Omni. Oh, we just played against you. Yeah, GGs. Yeah, you, yeah. Garen's awesome. I I went really ri I went really risky of trying to kill that Garen in response to the concerted strike instead of you know I had m multiple elixir of irons. I should have just saved the peddler and used brittle steel. Should have just done that. But I went for yeah the Rangers resolve. Got me good. I'm keep all these. I'm gonna keep Sejuani. Like turn one, we save this spell mana for Brittle Steel to be able to protect Peddler. The Winter's Claw strikes. Okay. 
Sometimes going for it works out, sometimes it doesn't. That time it didn't. I'd rather just save my Elixir of Iron to protect Peddler. Peddler, of course, is going to be a big part of this game for me. I'm not sure if they... I'm not sure if that was my brittle steel or theirs, or I guess it. I guess it was mine because they didn't spend any mana on that, right? Or maybe no, maybe they had spell mana. I don't know. I don't know if that was mine or theirs. I didn't see if it caused zero or one. This over here just says one. I don't know if that truly means one or not, though. This is an awkward turn. We don't have the six mana for Sejuani. We don't have the eight mana for Progress Day. Just an awkward turn. They want to pass. I will accept that. And we'll just go to the next turn. You own what you take. Sejuani pretty good. Alright, eight puff caps. We're getting there. Definitely putting the Sejuani back into my deck, especially if we're going to be able to Tusk Raider. Okay, so they have normal Fury of the North, not a Sejuani Fury of the North, just a normal one. Never lost a fair game. I just want to protect against Make It Rain before I play because I'm going to Thermogenic Beam and kill the Sejuani with Thermogenic Beam. But just, you know, using that Elixir of Iron before it goes away, before my mana goes away. I'm sure hoping they draw Puff Cap also because, you know, give them those extra three Puff Caps. Hoping they draw one. Yes. Perfect. So that was the other part, is just give them a whole bunch of puff caps, try to get them to draw one. Um, and we will block here. So then my Sejuani dies. So that we can play the new 10-12 Sejuani. So otherwise, that would be just a very large Fury of the North. Obviously, we need to try to challenge this Twisted Fate and get it out of play. They're drawing too many cards. Yeah, that's a 
lot of cards to draw. So they nabbed two of my cards. It's it's not great. I mean, they nabbed three of my cards after I Tusk Raider. That's not great all the time. You own what you take. We own all we see. Good times in Cleveland today. Cleveland. Fear beyond. So I kind of want to have the peddler challenge the twisted fate and then attack with these two and have them block. I guess blocking with the two two is very easy. We'll have the seven seven challenge. No, that just doesn't make any sense to do that that way. We get a lot of overwhelm damage in with this. So the question is, play another Peddler or bank this three mana for progress day? Ouch. Ouch. I'm thinking bank the three mana for progress day. Well, let's see. So if I play Peddler, we have 10 mana next turn. Have a mushroom. Have three. All right, never mind. I'm going to go with play Peddler. And then I can have... They're at five. I think my plan is try to get them a bunch of pop caps and just kill and kill them with pop caps. Alright, like that's the plan. Like they played the Sejuani and do something cool with it. I play Chumpwom. You own what you take. We own all we see. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop to die. And now I can give them all these puff caps. Sixteen, twenty-two puff caps we just gave them. Oh, an auspicious season. All right, so they got twenty-four cards, thirty-six puff caps. Hoping they start drawing a bunch of them. I have zero puff caps to go along with my 21 cards, so good chance that I do not draw puff caps, considering there's zero. Doesn't seem too reasonable. And cost four mana. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna be attacking out, trying to kill them, hoping this one card doesn't. Yeah, because they won't be able to frostbite stuff, so they they won't be able to block everything. So GG's. One and one.
Got there just in time. Before, you know, they had another huge Sejuani attack. <laughs> Those puff cap peddlers are awesome. And even though they were going to have, they played two Tusk Raiders, they were going to have a 20 power Sejuani, at least, well, they had a 20 power Sejuani in hand. They couldn't play it because they still had their 10 power Sejuani in play. Which I guess that's actually 11 and 22, but. So we're getting close. We're getting close to having the new set, Call of the Mountain. After today, we're only going to have three more streams, and then Call of the Mountain will be there on Wednesday. Definitely going to need to start doing some set preview stuff. We have, like, Rank Up Sunday, we have Meme Tier Monday, and we have set preview. The, I guess, expansion and preview. <clears throat> is a better name. All right, we got Peddler, we got Mystic Shot to kill something, and we got Brittle Steel to protect Peddler. Sounds like a good first three turns to me. And then we got Sejuani at the top end being just absolutely amazing like Sejuani always is. save that one. I want to save that for my other peddler. This will blow up their powder keg, which is kind of good for me. But of course we are taking six. Petty officer is awesome. So I could save two life by casting Mystic Shot now, but basically I'm taking two, two extra damage to get them three puff caps. Now that I say that out loud, that doesn't sound like that's a great plan. They must have, like, Warning Shot in hand, which would not be a surprise. I don't think they have a one-mana fast speed spell that they are considering to play. So it's probably a Warning Shot. That's the guess. Or they got disconnected. That's a possibility as well. Looks like disconnected. That's too bad. This was turning out to be a good game so far. These first three turns for both of us were good. That is looking like a good game. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. I don't think I'd even play Teemo right now. Normally. I guess with them not doing anything at all, I guess I can play Teemo. I don't even know if I should count this one as a game. If, if they don't play a single other thing, I, I don't think we just count it as a win. I think we just... Okay, the never mind. They're still playing. They fooled me. They fooled me. I thought they were AFK, and then I played the Teemo. So I know I could Mystic Shot their Spray Fin, but then they could use, like, Make It Rain and all sorts of stuff to kill my Teemo. So I wanted... I didn't want to tap under Elixir of Iron. By my hand. Oh, that card's a problem. Nothing escapes my watch. Pledge or perish. Everything's in place. Boom. 
Look out for reasons. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. If I don't block, we take seven and go to seven. I guess we gotta block. Again, I'm just saving Elixir of Iron to protect Teemo, but if I would have played Elixir of Iron and saved my Peddler, we would have leveled up Teemo. So that would have been good. Pain is not Follow me. Blessed by snow and stars. You will never kill my Timo. Merely pawn. Patience paying off. My legacy. Success is planting your mushroom crop. Patience paying off. And now we'll have uh, Fury of the North to protect Teemo. Or this Teemo is a 3 3 if I just let them kill the other one. This is scary. Powder keg. Petty Officer is awesome. Trying to help. <laughs> another day in the field. Just Think another day in the field. Alright, we'll plant them. Thanks for picking them. Oh, an auspicious season. This would be a good winter. Alright, how many they got? 30? <laughs> That's a lot. Alright, let's you make it 60. Ride onward. Uh, we'll ride onward with... I don't know, is it even worth attacking with Sejuani? Probably not. No, probably not. I don't think it's worth getting damage on Sejuani. I do just like getting four more damage in against them. All right, GG's. Did it together. That's a good win. It's a good deck we just defeated. It's a good win. All right, we're two and one. Draven Zed. Not something we see all the time. So we have the attack token on turn two, turn four. With this hand, we play Teemo on one. We attack on one, do five puff caps. You know, then, or attack on two, do five, five puff caps. We play the Starlet Seer on two. Turn three, we don't play anything. We save three spell mana. Turn four, we get to Chump Wump. Get two mushroom clouds, give them the two mushroom clouds, and then that's 15. And then our Teemo levels up, attack again on turn four. And so our second attack on turn four, we will have leveled up Teemo and getting them to 30 pup caps.
That's what we got right now. I like this thermogenic beam draw. So, you know, if they go like turn three Zed and we need to thermogenic beam it instead of doing our cool thing, we can do that as well. I think I'm just gonna let Draven hit me. I'm not as scared of Draven as I am of Zed. I want to have leveled up Timo. Oh, that card's scary. So yeah, they can protect, they can block and protect their thing, their champion. This is gonna hurt for you. Mm. Push on without me. That's unfortunate. My poor Teemo. Dang, that transfusion. This would be a good winter. Please control. We go as one. Doing the other spinning axe to level up Draven. Just doing the one. At least get Dr. Avon to level up. Alright, I guess we need to challenge the Cat of the Arm. Cat is super scary with the overwhelm and stuff. The dragon speaks through me. I think it's just a four six. In Avarosa's name. Wow.
Given the overwhelm to Draven, not to the horns of the dragon. Felt great about this game with Teemo, you know, hitting them, getting them, you know, getting them to 30 puff caps, and then, you know, staying alive and everything. That one mana elusive card. Excuse you. Leave no survivors. Show them our teeth. Look out for Reavers. So if this is might. Bring me chaos. Seven plus seven fourteen. Sixteen. Eight. Blessed by snow and stars. For the money makers. So the problem is if I do fury the north of Sejuani. And that is might, then I just lose. What's my name? We don't want that to happen. At least I don't think we do. Fight the signal fires. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Nothing escapes my watch. So they were discarding concussive palm and retreat. I like that Mystic Shot draw, that is awesome with Sejuani. What time is it? Ride onward. Plan is give him 10 more puff caps. You know, hopefully this does damage here. So it was might in hand. Good thing I didn't. So the good news is it was might in hand. So I didn't, you know, I didn't play the Fear of the Norse. So I didn't lose. The bad news is I'm probably dead now. This is really my only play. But now I have to... Only the I really need them to drop up cap. They have like a, you know, like a 14 pop caps, 28 cards, so not a good chance of drawing a pop cap. But I really need them to draw one. My beautiful face. Definitely wish I could give them these mushroom clouds. 
Come on, draw a puff cap. Yes. Okay, that's that was necessary. Definitely necessary. Go time. I give you what's theirs is ours. This would be a good winter. Right, give me the torches. I, uh, so hopefully they can't do ten damage to me. Put me down to seven. Or, well, I mean, sorry, take seven, put me down to three. GG's. That was critical that they drew that puff cap. If, if they don't draw that puff cap, I lose. Yeah, they drew the puff cap, I won. <clears throat> but... Alright, so we're three and one. Going on, we're going to see if we can get a four and one. A couple Starlet Seers and a Sentry. Um, these cards don't really stop Fizz, but they're no good against just regular on the ground stuff. Cool, so I'll lead with the Sentry to be a Blaka for the Butcher. Which I guess. I guess Starless here blocks Butcher just fine. We can lead with Starless here. We are a Sejuani deck. Each turn that we do damage to them does matter. I'd rather them be at 20 and have no golden narwhal in play than this way. Down to 16. Get our multiple Starlets here. Activations. They're out there. And that'll work. A nice little 4 3. The people are my strength. Not sure if I play this entry right now, honestly, if I just save this spell mana. Kinda feel like I should save the spell mana. No, we'll play this entry. I still have enough for one elixir of iron and a gotcha. Hmm. That fourth health. On this crowd favorite. Now knows me nine. I could shoot the tracker and then, then I can have my four one block the five four. I'm 
I'm gonna do that. They go things that do one point of damage. I have Elixir of Iron. Or they just have another 5 4. Good news. Good news of them having another 5 4 is that now it's not a 6 5 because we killed that other thing. <laughs> yeah, um, the Fleet Feather Tracker and the um, Petty Officer both see each other enter the battlefield, and so uh, the Tracker does get Challenger immediately because of that. Wave Rider gonna be a problem. That one also gonna be a problem. Blessed by snow and stars. There they go. That thing also going to be a problem. Really don't have any great ideas. An auspicious season. So I want to kill the Fizz, but I don't know if I can afford to kill the Fizz. Do I have a Harsh Winds in this deck? I do, right? So, Alright, so that's, that's my great idea, is find Harsh Winds. This will be a good One Harsh Winds? Alright, at least I got a plan.
plan is draw harsh winds. You poor thing. What's that you got there? Say your farewells. So yeah, I got those attacks in. Didn't expect them to block with the Wave Rider. Either Wave Rider or Sejuani's only at 2 out of 5. Oh, that's not great. They grow up so fast. Blessed by snow and stars. Well, if we found... I'm you know, doing that right now, of course, because if we you know, if we would have found Teemo, we could have played a Teemo to block. Hmm. No Teemo. No Harsh Winds. All right, three and two. <laughs> Got wave ridered. I thought we could handle the first wave rider okay, but then the second wave rider. That was too much pressure for us. All right, GG's. So three and two. Teemo decks are always a lot of fun to play. This one is pretty strong with having the Sejuani and that ability to, uh, um, you know, I mean, Sejuani is just super strong anyway, just be a removal spell, but then also just the ability to frostbite the opponent's team the whole time. Didn't really do anything with the shared spoils. I'm not sure if that should be, you know, other things, more removal or, or something else like that. But there we go, that's Puff Cap Plunder. And I'm not even sure if, I'm not sure if Shared Spoils is actually better than Entreat. I kind of think that maybe Entreat is better because our two champions are super important with Teemo and Sejuani. Um, so, you know, like we always draw those and you don't have to worry about waiting until you do have Plunder with Shared Spoils. Yes, you don't get the, the top three allies, the deck plus one, plus one, but you're not, you know, playing Shared Spoils and then drawing Omenhawk, right? Like you're, you're playing Entreat and you're drawing Teemo and Sejuani, the most important cards in the deck usually whenever you have whenever you're playing that so it's possible that entreat would be better than shared spoils all right those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course leave those comments as well i would really appreciate that but thank you so much for watching some puff cat plunder and i'll see you for the next video